Hi, I'm Mark Marino, creator of the Awaken Your Wellness Now blog. So you set a goal for yourself, and then you work at that goal for a while, but then you give up on it, and you go back to your old habits, and you just go on with your life. So why does that happen? Why is it so hard to set a goal for yourself, and then to make it happen? So today I'm going to discuss how to follow through with your goals. Following through on your goals comes down to committing to yourself and taking positive action towards the accomplishments of the goals that you set for yourself. Now, a commitment is defined, and I'll read this. A commitment involves dedicating yourself to something like a person or a cause. A commitment obligates you to do something. It's basically a promise. It's a willingness to give your time and energy to something that you believe in. Now, sometimes commitments are large, like marriage. And sometimes it's committing to a job and that you'll show up every day and do your job well. An employer commits that he'll pay you every week for your work that you've done. There are smaller commitments too, like showing up at a certain time to meet a friend. I'll meet you after work at 6 o'clock. Or a commitment could mean you're meeting your friend on a certain day to play tennis. Or you're going to service on a Saturday or a Sunday. Now the commitment I'm talking about today is the commitment to yourself. You will accomplish goals to the degree to which you commit to yourself and to the specific goals that you've set for yourself. Now, to commit to yourself, you need clarity. And the challenge that most people have is that they do not have clarity about what they want. Now, think about it. How can you commit to yourself or to something if you are not clear about what you want? Now, if you do not have a true commitment to something, it means that you're just interested about something, not committed to it. And if you're just interested about something, you will usually not stick to it. If you're like, well, I was thinking about losing weight, most likely you will give up on the attempt to lose weight very quickly because you're not committed to it. Or if I was just interested in starting an exercise program. If you're not truly committed to yourself and you didn't set specific goals for exactly how you will accomplish that, you will soon lose that interest and you will not stay committed and therefore you will not reach the goals that you haven't set for yourself. Now, when I'm working with somebody, I use my focus formula to help you get results. And we start off, we find clarity on what you want. We find clarity on what your values are and what's important to you. We find clarity on what you specifically want to be, do, and have in your life. Now I'm gonna try something a little different here. I'm gonna read through some quotes about commitment and then we're gonna talk a little bit about some of them. So the first quote is, the biggest commitment you must keep is the, your commitment to yourself. That's from Neil Walsh. And that's what we're talking about here, that truly to follow through on your goals, you must first commit to yourself and the specific goals that you want to set for yourself. But as I said, for you to commit to yourself, you need clarity about what you want to be, do, and have. And you need to, need to set specific goals. Now, the next quote is an anonymous quote, but it says, the real value of setting goals is not the recognition or reward. It's the person we become by finding the discipline, courage, and commitment to achieve them. So remember, first off, I said, the way to follow through in your goals is commitment to yourself and taking positive actions towards accomplishing those specific goals that you set for yourself. So the reward comes in you taking action towards your goals. And that's where the discipline and the courage and the commitment comes in to first commit to your goals and commit to yourself. Now, the next quote is by Jim Rohn. Motivation is what gets you started. Commitment is what keeps you going. The motivation is the why. It's the why behind why you want to reach the specific goal that you've set for yourself. And the commitment is what keeps you going. That's the discipline of taking action, setting a plan for what you'll specifically do to help you reach those specific goals. Next quote is, commitment leads to action. Actions bring your dreams closer. So like I said, to follow through on those goals, it's committing to yourself, but it's taking positive action. Because if you just set a goal, but you don't plan out what actions it will take to accomplish that goal, those goals will not come to realization. Now, the next quote is by, two quotes are by from Vince Lombardi. Most people fail not because of a lack of desire, but because of a lack of commitment. The next quote is again from Vince Lombardi. The quality of a person's life is in a direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. So the key is in whatever you do, 
It's the commitment to excellence and how you take on those positive actions to help you accomplish those specific goals that you set for set for yourself. So the next quote is from Peter Drucker. Unless a commitment is made, there are only promises and hopes, but no plans. So like we said, if you don't make a commitment, really you're only interested in something. And if you're only interested in something, before long you'll lose that interest and you will not accomplish the goal that you set for yourself. But by committing to yourself, then what happens is you'll start to plan and take positive actions towards reaching those goals. Les Brown said, I don't think that as a participant in life, you cannot be committed. You either commit to mediocrity or you commit to graceness. Now, I don't know necessarily that we would commit to mediocrity, but I think a lack of committing to greatness, we have a tendency to fall down into mediocrity. So I'd say let's commit to greatness, shall we? Heidi Reeder said, commitment is the foundation of great accomplishments. Again, if you don't commit to yourself, if you don't dedicate yourself to accomplishing those specific goals that you set for yourself, whatever it is, whether it's setting goals specifically for yourself, whether it's helping other people, whatever it is, unless you commit, then those great accomplishments won't happen. Abraham Lincoln said, commitment is what transforms a promise into reality. Remember, commitment is a dedication, a promise to yourself to accomplish something, to accomplish something that you set out specifically for yourself. So if you don't commit to yourself, that will never come to reality. Another anonymous quote, decide, commit, succeed. Now, as I said in many of my other videos, deciding is that choice to choose that you will commit to something to take the positive actions towards successfully accomplishing your goals. So decide, commit, succeed. Now, Tony Robbins said, the only limit to your impact is your imagination and your commitment. Now, if you have imagination but no commitment, then you will not have an impact. But if you add commitment to that, if you promise to yourself that you will accomplish the specific goals that you set for yourself, then your impact may be limitless. He also said, there's always a way if you're committed. Now, if you set a specific goal for your destination, a specific goal for what you want to be, do, and have, there may be times in life where you have challenges, you have obstacles, you have roadblocks. But if you have that commitment and that promise to yourself to, to accomplish a specific goal that you set for yourself, then there's almost nothing that will get in your way. So as I said in the beginning, the best way to follow through on your goals is to have that commitment to yourself to attain the specific goals that you have set for yourself. And then to follow through with a plan. If you have the commitment, then that will stimulate the plan to take the positive actions that will help you achieve those goals. Well, I hope this information helped you out. And as always, if you're seeing this video anywhere other than my blog, go check my blog out at awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash blog. And have a great day. And as always, be positive, be motivated, be focused and be well.